This is my overview of the UMI 17. It's a dual harmonic German equatorial mount from the Chinese market. It's been around for about a year. I bought it for the price of 1210 US dollars and it cost me $160 to get it shipped to the UK via UPS. Each one of these units is factory tested with a guiding setup to ensure it guides properly and before it shipped out the manufacturer sent me lots of pictures so I could see exactly what I was getting. The main body of the mount weighs 6 kilograms and is made of anodized aluminium. It houses two NEMA 17 stepper motors and two size 17 harmonic drives. The mount is powered by an ESP32 microcontroller running on step, so you can use the regular on step driver. It supports Wi Fi and Bluetooth, as well as all major protocols such as INIU and ASCOM. The rear of the mount sports a power button, a standard center positive DC barrel jack which requires 12 volts and 3 amps, a red power LED indicator, a blue connection LED indicator which is solid when parked and flashing when unparked, an ST4 port which cannot be used for auto guiding, and a USB port. It also has a electronic poloscope port which supports the latest IOTRON electronic poloscope. The mount comes included with a dual Osmandy and Vixen saddle. Like the AM5, it's the kind with the two trucks you have to tighten on the side to secure your payload, and it comes with these really nice quality anodized aluminium screws. The mount can support up to a 13kg payload without a counterweight, however if you want to run it to its full potential of up to 20kg, you're going to need a counterweight bar. Luckily it's a standard M12 thread so you can buy your own or you can ask for one to be included when you buy the mount. The equatorial wedge is very similar to Skywatcher models. I'm actually using an HEQ5 tripod here, so you have a center post for adjusting azimuth with more of these nice anodized aluminium screws. And you have screws here for adjusting declination. There is a spirit level on both sides. And there's one extra feature which I like, which happens to be this locking screw so you can lock off your declination and ensure that it doesn't move once you set your polar alignment. Now for a sound test so you can hear how ridiculously quiet this thing is. Moving it north first. Very smooth. And let's go west. And finally I'll park the mount, it beeps to let you know that it's parking, and you can visually see when it's aligned by looking at these 90 degree angles. Beeps again to let you know that it's done.